final calculations on the water heater. It's picked up at Leonard's Hardware. And now, we might go in there, but it's really, really windy. We'll show you something. basket. I need to do that next year. Let's go spend money instead of figuring out how to make it. I don't even know where we're headed for. A little farther on the left. Oh, room air conditioners. Here we go. GE. 10,000 BTU. Hang on. 450 square feet. All right. This one is. Are they both the same price? No. The one on your right is three fifty, and the one on your left is four something. We'd have to ask. They both would work. This one's just a little bit bigger. Like, barely. Yeah, eleven thousand nine hundred versus ten thousand. Yeah, that'll work. Rain room. Very nice dehumidifier, which will definitely handle the humidity of Arkansas. Until you chip the mirror and this will work. That'll work? This will work. That one matches the vanity you've already got. Perfect. That'll work? Medicine cabinet. Check. And prep setter Bob is picking up the last of the plumbing fittings and I just grabbed a shower rod. This came from Rocking Sea Homestead there in Oklahoma. Rocking Sea Homestead. And yeah, they came for the big reveal this weekend and brought me uh, presents. Uh, some of them they brought are outside um, some tomato starts and some, uh, I forget. But thank you, Lance, <laughs> Rocking Sea Homestead. So now I'm going to. I'm gonna open up uh, some things that are in here. Oh, cluck cluck here and a cluck cluck there. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. I'm gonna have all kinds of cool things, aren't I? Oh. Oh, what do we? Oh, oh, this is cool. Welcome to our coop. Yeah, that's a little metal uh, metal placard. Very cool. Yeah, I guess uh, I guess I got a chicken theme. <laughs> All right, and uh, and we got some stickers. Follow us on YouTube and Facebook, Rocking Sea Homestead. And then of course this lovely egg basket. So yeah, I can bring my colorful eggs right in here and put them in my basket and everything will be cool. So thank you to Rock and Sea Homestead over in Oklahoma and I hope to be seeing more from their channel. They've got a lot going on over there. Uh, they did raised beds and so that was cool. So be sure to check out Rock and Sea Homestead. Good evening from Bobblehead Homestead. I am Jeff. Today is Tuesday. Yes. Um, it is cloudy and it rained. <laughs> uh, it's pretty cool though. Nice, cool breeze. Probably low 70s. I'm digging this. But yeah, we went into town, went shopping, got some footage for you. You might have already seen that. And now we're home and Bob and Greg are went right to work. They're working on the water heater and the, the plumbing uh, to the water heater, the dishwasher, the sink, 
and the bathroom and all that stuff. So they're getting that in there tonight, and that will be mostly ready to go. Uh, what else can I tell you? Um, yeah, we picked up an air conditioner. Um, this one is 12,000 BTUs. The one I got last summer is 8,000 BTUs. So it was the one I had before was rated for 500 square feet, and I'm right at 480 square feet in this cabin. So, yeah, I went ahead and upgraded the uh, air conditioner. And if, it, if well, you know, it gets hot and humid here. So if I might need that other one also. And there are other uses for the air conditioners, maybe. We'll see what happens in the in the coming future. Uh, got a good dehumidifier. I wanted to get a, a good one um, and not just the cheapest thing they had, so that will be great. We got a medicine cabinet that matches the, the bathroom sink thing. <laughs> yeah, you can tell I'm a construction whiz. Uh, what else did we pick up? A shower rod. Um, uh, more plumbing fittings. And connections and that stuff and I don't even know what all uh, I got my uh, card for my iPhone and man the bugs are just insane there's probably a million flies inside my tiny cabin right now so that's gonna drive me crazy for a while uh, I've got a bunch of fly strips I'll start putting them up and it'll be you know once we're not keeping the door open running in and out that'll be fine um, yeah, I'll probably move my bed in there tomorrow, and I think the Self-Reliant Roadshow will be taken off tomorrow also. So tomorrow we're going to do, uh, do both of those live. I don't know what time. Uh, we won't know what time until it is time, because there's still some work to be done. We want to get the flooring started in the bedroom at least, and I want to learn how to do it and finish it myself. So that's cool with me. That's cool with me. If we just get it started and they teach me how to do it, then I can work at my own pace at finishing out the rest of that cabin. And then it's going to be a while before I've got water hooked up and all that stuff running. But, you know, the stove works, the electricity works, and so I'm good there for uh, until, until whenever. Um, all right. I guess that's it. <laughs> These bugs are just insane today. I don't know. Sorry, it's another short video. It's just, you know, it's it's all action and no fun and all work and no fun right now. No, it's still fun. We had some fun at the while we were out shopping. Oh, yeah, and we went to Hobby Lobby um, to uh, see. We got a temporary frame for that uh, resting grump face picture. We just got a temporary one to protect it until, and then we ordered... Um, uh, a nicer, a very, very much nicer uh, frame for it. And so that'll be coming, Green Dream Project. Uh, that thing is going to be, uh, I'm going to put that thing in my will. That's what I'm going to do. So, But you get first dibs. Green Dream Project, uh, Jessica gets first dibs uh, in my will. But after that. <laughs> uh, so yeah, it took them a while to order that. So I, we took that, that the picture back in there so when the framing stuff comes in they can complete it and they'll give me a call when that's done and then I can put that on the wall and thank you to Mrs. B and Monica for going into Hobby Lobby and doing all that for me and I uh, they picked out a great frame it's uh, that's gonna be another cool reveal in the future when when uh, when we get that nice frame put on that picture and get it hung up oh what else can I tell you lots of little stuff to do so I'm gonna have lots of video content in the future as I you know piddle around with all the little projects that are still uh, yet to be done and okay I think that's it thanks for watching thanks for all of your support thanks for your comments thanks for your uh, suggestions your thumbs up thanks for all the donors uh, thanks for all the volunteers. Thanks to the Self-Reliant Rocho and Prep Setter Bob and Mrs. B. Oh, yeah, I got to mention this. Last night we had those back uh, deer backstrap that uh, VW Family Farm gave us. Mrs. B cooked it up with some mashed potatoes and some corn. and Oh, that was amazing. That was just amazing. So, yeah, thanks for all the cooking and all the great food I've had. And uh, thank you. And take her easy. Thank you.
Well, it's about eight o'clock at night, and I've been debating. Um, I might not. I might not go ahead and move my bed in here tomorrow, because there's just so many flies. And so I've started putting up fly strips, and I kid you not, I put up a fly strip like ten minutes ago, and there's already hundred on it. So I'm putting fly strips up everywhere. Um, and if I can get a if I can get a handle on this fly population in here, I might do it, but. Man, I just cannot sleep when I got flies landing on my face all night long. So, uh, yeah, I've got to get a handle on this fly situation before I move in tomorrow. Sorry.